and then uh, they explained uh, interpreters explained to junod exactly what happened uh, he told them uh, or uh, um, the uh, japanese interpreter uh, sorry the japanese journalist he told junod that august 6th was actually a very peaceful day the sky was very peaceful uh, in the morning uh, but um, when uh, it was uh, um, nearly 7 uh, or uh, some 9 minutes past 7 uh, 9 minutes past 7 um, some american planes appeared b20 american b29 planes appeared in the sky uh, see this is the correct uh, description of the japanese journalist he told junod that uh, august 6th 1945 uh, was a very peaceful day in the morning uh, it, it appeared to be a normal day with a clear sky but when it was some nine minutes past seven suddenly some american b-29 planes appeared on the sky and uh, um, and then suddenly see the people it was the time of war the japanese people uh, they have some hesitations uh, they were vigilant uh, and uh, they were frightened the appearance of the b-29 american planes frightened the people but when it was 731 the all clear sign was given then nothing no trace of the plane was seen by 731 everything was clear and so uh, people of japan ah see of hiroshima they were happy uh, they have to go to their offices place of work to the schools colleges and so when the all clear signal was given people went out of their houses feeling that they are safe and uh, then suddenly see people went to their places of work our boys and girls went to the schools and colleges and uh, suddenly a whitish pinkish light appeared in the sky followed by intense heat the third uh, on 7 31 the all clear sign was given and uh, and the people went out for their work children went out of their houses then suddenly something strange happened a whitish pinkish light appeared in the sky followed by an unnatural tremor which was followed almost immediately by a wave of suffocating heat and wind which swept away everything in its path and so uh, suddenly the whitish pinkish light appeared after that uh, there was a, a very severe movement then uh, the temperature rose up a high temperature and the wind was there and it swept away everything in its path and then what happened our poor people of uh, Hiroshima they were already on their way to the offices boys and girls on their way to the schools and colleges uh, when they were caught up by that severe uh, heat uh, see they felt suffocation they felt great suffocation and many falls down dead on the spot uh, many were killed instantly uh, many were killed on the spot many were writhing with pain rolling on the ground by receiving several burns and injuries on their body uh, and actually everything were destroyed uh, in the blast the stone buildings uh, after the bomb blast only some ruins some stones were left out 
and the majority of the Japanese houses were built of wood and straw. And so they were burned immediately by the intense heat of explosion. And so the people who were within the houses were also killed on the spot. And the buses and the trams, they were all tossed aside. Uh, trains were flung off the rails as if they were toys. These are the results of explosion. Many were killed on the spot. Uh, many were writing with great pain, receiving great burns and wounds all over the body. They were rolling in the ground. Our trams, buses, everything were tossed up. And uh, all living creatures were destroyed. The same was the fate with animals. They also dropped down dead. Some of them were rolling with pain, receiving severe burns on their body. Even the vegetation did not escape. Our trees uh, got up with flames. Uh, see, the trees were completely destroyed by the flames. Even grass were dried up. It became brown in color. Ah, and the grass was burning like dry straw. And so, uh, that was it. Ah, all the buildings, whatever that were standing upright, it, was, it crumpled down in the explosion. Only the remnants of the stone buildings were seen. Uh, regarding the wooden houses, nothing was left out. Like cardboard boxes, the houses were completely burned down. And then, um, would, see, I told you, uh, a good number of people died on the spot. A good number of animals and birds died on the spot. Others were moving about with great pain, receiving fatal wounds and burns on their body. And so some of them who managed to escape with wounds died after some hours. And some people who escaped the explosion, they died after uh, some uh, days um, because of the after effects of the gamma radiations. And so uh, that happened. Uh, see, uh, those who managed to escape are uh, um, uh, trying to escape to a safe place. Uh, they died 20 or 30 days later from the delayed effects of the deadly gamma rays. Uh, and so uh, actually um, a good number, majority died on the spot and the others died within days. And when Junod came there, nearly one lakh people uh, with severe burns and boils were there. And then uh, after, uh, half an hour after the explosion, uh, the, um, there was a fine rain in Hiroshima. See, after the explosion, after half an hour, there was a slight rain. Uh, because um, uh, what happened is that it was caused by the sudden rise of overheated air to a great height. Uh, uh, overheated air at a great height contents to form a rain. And after the rain, there was a strong wind. And uh, fires extended with terrible rapidity and all the houses, uh, I told you majority of the houses, Japanese houses were built of uh, a timber and straw. Everything was destroyed. Uh, and so after the explosion, uh, half an hour after the explosion, uh, there was a slight rain. And after the rain, a heavy wind. And so fires were uh, uh, taken to distant places, making the destruction complete. Uh, by the time, all the houses in uh, Japan uh, caught fire 
and were destroyed. And in the evening, fire began to die down and then it went out. But there was nothing left to burn. Hiroshima had ceased to exist. Ah, in the evening or by the evening, uh, the explosion has done its havoc completely. And by the evening, uh, the destruction was complete. Nothing was left out in Hiroshima, uh, once a great prosperous city in Japan. Now in complete ruins. Nothing is left out in Hiroshima. What you can see uh, is uh, a heap of ruins. For miles, no human being, no living creature, only heaps of ruins. Miss Ito and the Japan Japanese journalist, uh, see, they cannot explain. They are sobbing and they pointed their fingers at the ruins which Marcel Junod can see from a distance. And uh, Junod walks slowly towards the ruins. And there they comes near the remnants of a hospital building. Up there he could see Professor Suzuki, uh, one of the leading surgeons in Japan. Uh, and uh, pointing to the remnants of a big building, uh, Professor Suzuki uh, told Marcel Junod, uh, there was a hospital here with 200 beds, 8 doctors, 20 nurses. Every single one and all the patients were killed. That is what an atomic bomb does. Uh, and so uh, now, uh, they, uh, that is, uh, Junot can see the remnants of a hospital. And he was told that it was a hospital uh, with 200 beds, uh, uh, some 8 doctors, 20 nurses, but everybody of them were killed. And the hospital building is completely in ruins. The blast has destroyed it completely. Uh, and so uh, now um, uh, Marcel Junod got a clear picture and then he starts his work there in Hiroshima. Uh, he, worked, uh, um, uh, he worked there uh, really hard. He tried to help the suffering people in Hiroshima. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever he can do for them, he was ready to do. He and his team. The Red Cross has done excellent work uh, in Hiroshima. And uh, ample help he got from General Makada. Uh, and uh, Marcel Junod has great appreciation for the general. Uh, and then, and actually General Makada, uh, he repents for what has happened in Hiroshima. Uh, actually, during the time of uh, war, uh, they were forced to drop the first bomb in Hiroshima. Uh, but uh, when he saw the after effects of the bomb explosion, uh, General Makada, he feels sorry for the people there and he helps the Red Cross to his maximum. And so, um, and after, uh, see, and, uh, he, uh, and Junod and his uh, um, uh, team, uh, he, the, they stay there and uh, did maximum work for the suffering people in Hiroshima. And before um, uh, the team returned to Tokyo, see now finally the mission is over and uh, it is time for um, uh, Marcel Junod and his team to go back to Tokyo. Uh, 